Okay, that is it for course four. We are done. Thank goodness. Okay. Uh, we still need the metal cap to finish off Jolly Roger Lagoon. I think we get that, or Jolly Roger Bay, whatever it is. Uh, I think, I think we get that from, uh, the inside of Hazy Maze Cave somewhere. I want to try and remember how we get the metal cap. Also, there's still this guy who I should probably try and catch sooner rather than later. Uh, because he will have another star for me after catching him once. He will come back with another star later. Uh, Bowser and his bad. Bowser and his band wrote the book on bad. Yeah, collect coins to get health. Got it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this guy can be a little irritating to try and catch. Oh, whatever. I'll come catch him later. Alright. Jump into here. Course six. I think we did need the invisibility cap to finish this stage. Um, but mostly I'm concerned with trying to get the... Trying to get the... Uh, metal cap, which I think we do from within here. I just don't exactly remember where. All right, well, he's dead. <laughs> Uh, I think this is the other entrance. No, uh, this is the way down. That was a very loud beat from outside, okay. Okay, so this is how I get down here. Yeah, Hazy Maze Cave is very big, and, well, it's a maze. Okay. Uh, danger ahead, beware of the strange cloud, don't inhale. If you feel faint, run for higher ground with fresh air. Circle is shelter, arrow is the entrance. Okay. So, we can kind of see the cave here. There's shelters. Uh, I think this is how we get to the metal cap, is through here. So we want to be careful about this place. If you already have the metal cap, then it's a little easier to deal with this place because you won't take damage from the clouds. All right, there's blue coins up here. But I'm not gonna worry about those right now. There's a whole bunch of bats in there who I also don't particularly want to worry about right now but I guess I'll kill them so they stop trying to attack me. Okay. Ah, there's a door up here. Okay, come on. Game. Thank you. Kept trying to wall jump and taking damage for it. All right, bat. You know what, whatever. You can stay there, I don't care. I do need some coins, though. This might just lead me to a star, actually, instead of where I'm trying to go, which I guess also works, but yeah, it looks like this just leads me to a star, which also works. It's just not what I'm going for, really. Uh, I think we can climb? How do I hang on? Uh, if you jump and hold the A button, you can hang on to some heavy op- Okay. So, there we go. Let's zoom out if we can. Thank you. 
Alright, so this is going to take me to a star. I'll have to... I'll look up at some point between sessions uh, how to get to the metal cap, because that's the main thing that I came in here to try and get. But, I mean, stars are also useful. I feel like it's through the cave, though. I seem to remember the metal cap being through... Amazing emergency exit, yeah. I feel like I remember it being... Oh, there's also a tote there that I should probably talk to. I feel like it's through the... Uh... What am I thinking? I feel like it's through the titular Hazy Maze, Hazy Maze Cave, but I might be mistaken. I think you've... Yeah, so that'll just constantly spawn those guys, but only the first one actually gives you coins. Yeah, this is the easier way of getting over here. Uh, and by easier... It just doesn't require as many wall jumps, or it doesn't require long jumps. Can I just flip over to this one? I can. Cool. I don't think that actually helps me, but I can do so. Oh, well, it leads me directly to this, which I think is the red coin mission in here, or at least part of it. I guess I'm doing this stage now. <laughs> I didn't really intend to, but I guess I am. There's one of the red coins. There's another red coin down there. I remember this stage being very, or this course is very difficult to actually get all of the 100 coin. It's difficult to get the 100 coin star on. Okay, Bat, you can just go that way, that's fine. Um, Bat, I need you to not, okay? This will disappear after a little while if you're off it for too long. Oh yeah, and then it just reappears over here. Okay, well that's cool. I think it just keeps looping around, too. Well, I guess I'll try for the red coin since I'm already here. It's not really what I was going for. I do know that I need to do a little bit something different to get all the rest of the, all the red coins, but I can get at least this one from up top here. So there's something. Oh, there's more damage, that's what that is. I also need the metal cap in order to finish this world in general. I'm not sure I even want to really be trying for this coin star. I really just want to get the... Let's see, that's how I got here. I really just want to try and get the metal cap. I thought it was through here. I'll try it again here. All right, other way. Ah, uh, Monty Moles. Okay, let's go this way this time. Here we go. Okay, so here's a different exit. Which leads me to... Oh, it leads me up here. Useless, okay. Noted. I mean, that's useful in that it will get you out of there, but... Otherwise, pretty useless. Got it. Um... Looks like there's another way further down. Which maybe is what I took before. Okay, so there's that. There's this. I think this is where, yeah, so this is where we have the blue coins and all these bats. Grab that. Go this bat. There we go. 
Yeah, I think the emergency exit was... Yeah, it's right through there. Okay. No, this was the emergency exit that I took before. Oh, there's another one up here. Okay. I feel like one of these little exit door areas is what leads me to the metal cap. That's, I swear. Okay. Yeah, this will lead me further up. Where are we going? Oh, to another star. Okay, well, that also works. I did need to also get the star. Well, I know there's one more exit in that hazy maze cave, so... Or in the toxic maze, so I guess I will try that. Oh, I keep forgetting to talk to the toad. Whoops. Okay, so let's come through this way. Uh, I think I want to try and run through these Monty Moles. Okay, sorry about that. Had to sneeze. Uh, oh, I think it was... Yeah, it's right up there. Okay. So let's kill that guy real quick, just to get more coins. And backflip up here. Oh, this is just a little hidey hole. Okay. Well, maybe there isn't. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe this isn't how you get to the get to the thing. I don't even know where these coins spawn. Oh, they spawn down here. And they lead back up here. Presumably to that door. And there's that door. Okay. Well. Then this is a false door. Okay. Well, let's get these coins. And we'll just take this little side exit back out then. Well, that's kind of... Huh. I thought that's how we got to... I thought this was how we got to the... Uh, uh, metal cap, but I guess I must be mistaken. I'll have to... I'll have to figure out how we get to metal cap later. Uh, since we're already here, though... I'll go ahead and do another really quick and easy star. Dodge the boulders. Yeah, I don't know how anyone was supposed to know this one, but... This is another one of those stars that I have no idea how anyone was ever supposed to figure out as a kid. If I can... Get the... Wall jumps to actually function. There we go. Is it not up here? Is it up here? All right. Maybe it's two wall jumps. Might be double wall jump. Or... Really? I thought I remembered there being... I thought I specifically remembered there being a star that required wall kicking in this area. Am I completely off base with that? Because there definitely seems like there's a room right up there. I thought I remembered it being 
right up here. Cause yeah, it definitely looks like there's rooms right there and right there. And I was pretty sure you can wall kick your way up to them. Although I'm really bad at wall kicks, so maybe you can and I'm just doing it really badly. I think you can wall jump, wall jump. This is stupid. There we go. I knew there was, I knew you were supposed to be able to get up here. Yeah, this is one of those stars that I don't know how anyone was supposed to know about as a kid. Uh, it's also incredible. Even though I knew it was here, it was incredibly obtuse, and I started second guessing myself as to whether this was so something I was supposed to even be doing. Uh, and it is what I was supposed to be doing. But all right, well, let's talk to this toad. Hold on your hat. If you lose it, you'll be injured easily. If you lose your cap, you'll have to find it in the course where you lost it. Oh boy, it's not looking good for Peach. She's still trapped somewhere. Please, you have to help her. Do you know there's enemy worlds inside walls? It's true, Bowser's troops are there too. Oh, take this. Hey, this is the guy who gives me a star. Cool. All right, cool. I knew one of the toads gave me a star. I just didn't know where. All right, well, clearly I don't quite remember how to get the metal cap, which is the only cap we're currently missing. So I'll figure that out. I'll figure that out off screen. Uh, I think we've been going plenty long here. I'm tempted to try and catch the rabbit. Oh, uh, almost got him in that corner. The corners are definitely the easiest places to get him. I know if you can catch the rabbit. I know catching the rabbit is also how you do speedrunner tech in this game. Uh, because you can catch the rabbit to... Hey, got him. Cool. Uh, oh, unhand me, brute. I'm late. So late. Must make haste. The shiny thing mine. It's mine. Finders keepers. Oh, fine. Take it. Okay. Yeah, so if we put him down, he'll give us a star. Now he'll just hang out there. And I know that there's some speedrunner tech you can do where you can, you can pick him back up if you want to. And if you, like, go to a locked door and place him just right. Uh, you can place him down and he shoves you back a little bit when you place him down. So you can go in front of locked doors, uh, place him in front of, like, back up to the locked door because you won't open doors while you're carrying him. Uh, back, Put your wall back to it and then place him down and it'll knock you back into the door. It's really fascinating. If if you haven't seen a Mario 64 speed run, I highly suggest it. It's fascinating the things that people do in this game. But I think that's probably gonna do it for this session. So I will see you guys later with more Mario.